So you can see his heel angle is still broken back and too low. Uh-huh. You know, these these bones should line up and, and he's doing this instead of this. And he's not quite balanced laterally. There's a he's which is interesting because he looks high on the outside to me here. We'll have to let his foot hang. Wow, it's, that's the rough part. So the reason these are so tough to fix is that you have to get it balanced from side to side uh -huh. and from front to back, and mm -hmm. he's got a really messed up foot. So these are super challenging to get um, balanced. Okay. Um, but the good thing is, is like I said, he doesn't have a big, sometimes what I've seen on these is they'll have a big piece of hoof wall that's separated back and we have to resect all that out. Yes. And he doesn't have that. You're a good boy. Okay, I'm gonna let him back out so that I can pick up see how level mm. or not level All right but you can see that the heel heights are different yes he's got a, um, a little he heel shear yes I do yeah and, and it's even yeah more protruding on this right side than yeah. the left and it looks like he's got pretty flat feet too which probably doesn't help so what he's done now is a good idea in that you can see when he puts his foot down mm -hmm. that that inside below the level of the crack doesn't have any pressure on it. Yes. So that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. But it's, so it's going to keep that from having pressure on it, which is going to be helpful. Yeah. But when it's not helping the, the broken back access. Right. Because to do that, we're going to need, okay. we're going to need more out here under his heel, under both heels. Uh-huh. Because of the, of the shear. Yes. So... That's the tricky part about that because unless you support both, see, there's no heel support on this side, and it's already they're already mismatched. So yes, and and the you, the other problem is we got a little bit of motion there, which is why that that crack is a bad thing, and we want to eliminate motion so that there's nothing stressing that coordinate band because to cure it, to for this to go away, we need to have healthy growth from the top down. Yes, and. So yeah, I like the idea of unweighting it. That was a really, really good idea, but it's not helping with our heel shear. Okay. So any thoughts as to what we could do differently to help yeah, with the heel shear on I the think next we're gonna, shoeing? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do a bar shoe that goes all the way under the heels. Uh-huh. Because yeah, we have to support that heel. Right and still take off the crack. So well, maybe... you, and you can float underneath there with a regular bar shoe. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So that's what, so what, I mean, the, my, my master at getting rid of these is Keith. And what Keith does with those usually is he'll trim it, let the horse stand for a minute, and then he floats that side. He takes the side with the quarter crack yes. and takes them off. Takes them off of that inside. Shorter. He makes it just, yeah, so that it doesn't have, when he puts the shoe on, there's a, about a space that much between that's where the, underneath the heel crack in the shoe. Uh huh. And um, we've in the past used like a full bar shoe with um, with clips. The other okay. thing that may help is that you can use a shaped shoe. You can use a you know you can have a, a bar shoe that has a, a wedge in it that we can help with the, the right. angle. Right. Right. So I think that's probably what I would what I would do. Okay. But yeah. for right now, I think this is accomplishing one good thing, and it's keeping pressure from the crack. yeah. Yeah, so maybe the next shoeing, switch it over to the bar shoe yeah. with a wedge on that side and so, float the area under the crack. Right. So that's not coming in contact with the shoe. Yeah, and I would set that shoe back even further. E even more. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. Because, yeah. um, oh yeah. yeah, we could set that shoe back further. Yeah, yeah. And these are super tricky. I don't mean to say anything bad about Cody, and that's a good idea, but. These are the one of the hardest things that shoers have to get to fix. Yeah. 
especially in an animal this size. Sure, I know all yeah. that weight on those feet. This is a real uh, This is a horseshoe nightmare. <laughs> yeah. You never get a horseshoe that somebody calls and says, "Hey, I got a horse with a quarter crack." That says, "Oh, good." You know, like it they, probably yeah. needs to be done every five. Yeah, it needs to be done soon. So what we want to see is growth from the coronet band that doesn't have a crack in it. And right now there is none. The crack goes all the way to the top, pretty much. Okay. And it's hard to see if that's actually, maybe not. Maybe there is a little space there where there's no crack. There might be. So if we get any growth down below that point with, with no crack, we know we're on the right, we're, we're on the right path. Yes. But if it continues to go up to the, up to the coronet band, especially if it bleeds, then that's our key that we have to do something drastically different. Uh-huh. So yeah, that's that. This would be a good thing. I mean, I could take some photos with my new fancy phone, mm -hmm. and um, we want to be able to see growth, you know, down from the coronet band that doesn't have a crack in it. Right. And we just haven't had time to see that yeah, yet. Yeah, exactly.